Hello and welcome to Melossa, a unique YouTube channel where you'll find tons of interesting and unique canine content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment on any of our videos. The Elena was a long history in Spain. The official history of the breed tells that the Elena came to the Iberian Peninsula in the 5th century together with the Eleni tribe and should thereby be regarded as the direct descendant of the Alaunt. As in all histories of the origin of the different ancient Molossor breeds, their whole origin lies hid in the midst of time, and the different theories about the origins have been presented by modern scholars. Nevertheless, the presence of the Alenu in Spain can be traced far back in time. As early as the year 1350, King Alfonso VI published his book of hunting, and in the 15th century, treatise of hunting the author unknown, but there is a detailed physical description of the dog. The Spaniards did discover, explore, occupy and colonize new land and areas, and in their travel to close and far places, they often did bring the Eleno Espanol with them. The result of this is that many of the Molossor breeds around the world can count the Eleno as one of their ancestors, like the original Presa Canario and Cadabu from the Spanish islands, the Fila de Terceria from the Azores, Fila Brasileiro, Peru Cimarron, Dogo Cubano, Cordoba Fighting Dog, and Dogo Argentino from the New Continent, as well as influence on the other Molossor breeds around the Mediterranean. The Aleno has always been a working dog in Spain, known under different names like Aleno Espanol, Chato de Presa, Chato Salmantino, Pero de Toro, Pero de Presa Espanol, Dogo de Burgos, Mastin de Jabalines, Aranos de Carcinero, and Mastin de Peru Corto all depending on where in Spain the dogs lived and which kind of work they were used for. Until 1860, they took part in one of the phases of the bullfight, known as the dog's turn, that Goya immortalized in his Toromachia. There are different opinions on whether the Aleno and the Spanish Bulldog is the same breed, but most people that are involved in the Aleno and the National Association of Aleno Espanol Criterias regards the Spanish Bulldog just as a heavier version Bulldog type of the Aleno, used in the bullfights of all times. The 20th century did no good for this old working dog of Spain, which began to decline in numbers after bullfights was outlawed in Spain in 1883. Like many other Molossor breeds that lost in popularity against foreign imported breeds, especially the German Shepherd dog, the number of Aleno reached a point near extinction. The last pair of Aleno Espanol were exhibited in 1963 in the Red Hero Park in Madrid, and soon after the breed was considered to be completely extinct. The Aleno has never been a subject of beauty contest, like many other dog breeds, but have always been bred with the working qualities in mind. And it was the working qualities that proved to be the reason that saved the breed from going completely extinct, despite the odds. In the early 1980s, a search for survived Aleno was done by enthusiasts of this legendary dog, especially by Carlos Contera, and the whole of Spain was calmed for survived specimen. The situation proved to be much better for the Aleno than ever expected and hoped for. In the Extremadura and Castilla areas, a few Aleno was found, but the real surprise they found in the Acantaciones Valley in northern Spain where a stable population of 300 alenos still was used to handle a half-wild breed of cows. The genetics of 22 dogs descended from the Encartaciones Valley were analyzed by the University of Córdoba, and the DNA conclusion was that these dogs did not have any genetic influence from any known dog breed in the world. The best specimens of the Encartaciones population were gathered and did serve as the foundation for the reintroduction of the alenos espanol in Spain. The Aleno is a born hunting dog, with unequalled bravery and courage. It is a good companion as a watchdog or for hunting. It has no fear of facing a boar, grasping it without concern for its own life. It is also used for working with bulls, for controlling the wild animals in the pastures of Salamanca and the Andalusian estates, having performed this duty for centuries. The Aleno Espanol is a very powerful and determined dog, which is not suited for inexperienced owners. The breed demands a lot from its owner, and, according to tradition, the working dog aspect must always be in mind when owning an Aleno. The breed has been known by many names throughout the times, all depending on where in Spain the dog comes from, and also depending on what kind of work the dogs were used for. Aleno Espanol, Chato de Presa, Chato Salmantino, 
Perú de Toro, Perú de Presa Español, Dugo de Burgos, Mastín de Jabalines, Alano de Carnicero, Mastín de Perú Corto. The Eleno is an active and agile breed. As mentioned earlier, the Eleno Espanol and Spanish Bulldog is regarded as the same breed by almost all persons involved in the Eleno Espanol. But there are breeders in Spain, and now also in other countries, that breed dogs that they claim is Spanish Bulldogs, and they do not regard the two breeds. Eleno Espanol, Spanish Bulldog, has the same breed. When Eleno enthusiasts say that the Spanish Bulldog and the Eleno is the same breed, and that the Spanish Bulldog is just a strain within the Eleno, they are right. But we have to accept that some breeders regard this strain to be Spanish Bulldogs, and that they want to breed this strain as a separated breed. The height of the Eleno Espanol is 58 to 63 cm for males, and 55 to 60 cm for females. The weight of the Eleno is between 35 and 45 kilos. The coat colors of the breed are brindle, red, fawn, black, and brindle, gray, white spotted with the other mentioned colors. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.